Hi, welcome to another video. This is a very special video. I want all of you to watch this from start to finish. We will have a very good overview of what happened in last two years or so. Okay. So, if especially if you have an automation agency or if you're, if you're in the field of automating things, this will come really handy. This will give you the clarity you need to continue the journey successfully. So, when ChatGPT offered their APIs, we could directly communicate to LLMs and get the response and do all the circus that we needed to do to present the information as applicable to the user. We all have used this. Next thing that happened was RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. A large language model is actually trained or pre-trained using huge amounts of data by spending millions of dollars. In, in order for such a large language model to work for us, we needed to ensure that the large language model responds knowing our context, whether we have parking space in our company or what are the working hours about our company. So our business, our services, our know-how also, we wanted a large language model to handle as the context. So, so what we did was we added a database and the user query used to access the database and pick relevant chunks of the context and then communicate it with the large language model. So, the large language model used to respond in a more context aware way. So, that was the second phase. Next thing that happened was the large language model started to offer function calling. So many people did not know what function calling was at that and even now they don't really know because many tools and agents started doing this in an implicit way. So function calling is a way of instructing the LLM that if you cannot handle this request, you can use some extra tools which I have and I inform the LLM the tools that I have and the parameters those tools need. So when LLM responds, it will give the function name and the parameters properly formatted. For example, if this function is a booking system and if the, so if LLM is aware of the user's name and the booking date, time, etc., LLM can properly format the request to suit the tool and then we could call the tool and get the response and maybe pass the response back to the LLM as the context and then finally LLM communicated to us. So this also needed extra handling from our side. Then came an extension. So in the same way, we could add several tools to handle the request properly. Attaching tools and making the LLM queries aware of those tools became a standard practice. Then came agents. So agent completely simplified the process. So all we needed to do was to attach all the tools and maybe a RAG database, other parameters like how many times you should retry, etc. And agent will handle everything for us. So our code became much more tidier and reliable in that sense. Okay, then and last number, another big thing happened where Anthropic released the model context protocol. 